Hello, 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 everyone. This is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're having a good day. So today is Tuesday, the 25th of April, 2023. It is an absolutely gorgeous day outside today. Uh, beautiful sunshine. Well, that's not going to last long because they're calling for a lot of rain starting tonight into tomorrow so um so here i am i am working on fairy tale hut and this is from vip cross stitch my discount code is interlake i-n-t-e-r-l-a-k-e zero seven all one word Okay. And I got this sometime last year because I started working on this on the 31st of August of last year. You know, but I I don't work on it all, every day. I just work on it for a while and yeah. So I'm continuing to work here. All this blue here is black. So, uh, yeah, which makes it very easy. So, uh, yesterday I went and got gas, and then I uh, came home and I did my Timu. Um, order wasn't very big but a lot of washi tape lots of washi tape <laughs> somebody was asking if you can use it in journaling and that kind of stuff yeah you can that's what it's made for you know you can use it f for any kind of paper crafts right so you can um like I said, you can use it in journals, you can use it in date books, um, card making, um, other crafts, and that. So I'm uh, quite happy with it. The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed with is how much tape is actually on a roll. The circles are big, you know, that are made out of cardboard, and then the tape is on top of that. It's, uh, yeah, there's not a lot on there. So, uh, just keep that in mind. Now, I do know that some washies are, are, um, they are like that. I've got lots here, you know, so... But I already used it in my journaling yesterday. I'm very happy about that. So, Miss Twinkle Toes got me up at 20 to 5 this morning. So, after I'm done my um, video here, I'm, I'm actually going to go and lay down in the bed. I am going to go and lay down in the bed, and hopefully I can sleep for an hour. Tomorrow it's going to be a very early morning, because we have to leave here by around 7. And, because uh, my appointment's at 9. And, I mean, we could leave about 10 after 7. You know, because it takes an hour and 40 minutes to get there. So, yeah. So 
So yeah, I got most of my dishes done and um, I picked out my picture there for next Wednesday. I went into the craft room and I thought, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And the very top one in this stack was of a flower. So it's a kind of a psychiatric psychedelic flower but it's a um it's a lotus bloom so and that's what I'm going to be working on and I see there's like they've got areas where it's um looks like there's beads like bigger slightly bigger beads and drop uh drop beads and i'm going to put actual beads on there so I uh, I like to do that. I like to mix it up, smash it up, do whatever. Make it individual for me. So anyways, remember starting next Wednesday that just for the video, I mean, you can go longer, right? There's no, you can continue working on it for the whole month of, of May. Um, but during the, um, when I do the video on Wednesday, I will be doing, it will be flowers. So I hope you have something lined up for that. And um doesn't matter the size. As long as basically the flower is the focal point, right? So you want it to be the main, the main thing. Like if you've got a bouquet of roses or a vase full of flowers or something, that's okay because the main focus is the flowers, right? So, I will be doing that starting next Wednesday. Yeah, I'm glad that I've got my doctor's appointment tomorrow. I am looking forward to getting... Um, my, um, what do you call it? Oh my gosh. Sorry, that's my brain. Um, I was going to say rebuttal, but that's not exactly the word. My defense for getting my driver's license back. So, and then I'm going to do that, and I am going to get it in there to them, and then I have to wait for the day when I can, I guess there's a tribunal, and that. And, um, and then I can defend my position. So, 
Um, for anybody who's wondering, I contacted the company there for Rosie 2.0, and they haven't even mailed it out yet. So, I said due to high volume that they have not mailed anything out yet. So, now, to me, it was a, you know, mass response so so anyways this I was going to show you here this is this is what I am working on as my flower. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm working on. And you see here where all these they look like beads in that and that's what I'm going to put in there. I'm going to put actual beads in there. And the rest will be stitched. So, yep. So that's that's what I'm going to be working on. So, uh, it's not very big. I'll show you this. It's, it's not very big. So... This is it here. And like all along here, but it's like there should be more. There should be more in the way of beads along here. Like here. I don't know. I have to look at it more closely. So there's 24 colors. And surprisingly, there's no 310. There's no 310 black. A lot of blues, purples, that kind of thing. So, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the beads around here. So, yeah, so that's what I'm going to work on for May on Wednesdays, okay? And if you want to post on the Facebook group, which is Stitching in the Interlake, and if you haven't joined there yet, you have to answer the question, who are two of my three sidekicks and um, yeah spelling's not important so but uh, yeah So, uh, but that's, that's what I'm going to do. And that's just for the Wednesday stitching. Okay. If you're just new here and, um, I got a knot in here somewhere. Seems to me there's a knot there. Right there. On. God. Oh, there, got it. And um, there's the dedicated email address, which is stitching in the interlake, all one word, at gmail.com. 
and uh, please always remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. I know not everybody comments. That's okay. As long as you give me those thumbs up. You know, commenting is nice. Because the algorithms also look at how many people comment, right? So... Yeah. Yep. I slept really good and then I was awake. I don't know what time it was to go to the bathroom. And then I. Come on. And then I. Um. I uh, crawled back into bed, and then at, why is that? Come on. And then at 4.40 this morning, Miss Twinkle Toes, Lily Bell herself, got me up. The cats, Jonah and um, Sydney, were outside. This morning, and I brought them in. Now, I did try to go back to bed. I did. I did. I did. But I could not. No way, no how. And, of course, now I'm really tired, right? Just do this and this, and then I will snip this off on here. Come on. So, but, uh, yeah, it looks like our. Poor Winnipeg Jets lost again last night to the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Yeah. They must be getting really tired. There's a house just moved one half. I don't know where the other half is, but well, there could be a, the other one coming pretty soon. I saw the pilot truck. Or the... Um, You know, the, the, the warning truck. So, yeah. So, be nice to go somewhere tomorrow, except that it's going to rain buckets tomorrow. Oh, on that green skirt, I was able to take the ties off. Looks so much better. So much better. Those ties are just... Nope. No. Too bad they didn't have a skirt like that without the ties. So, I did place another order with Timu yesterday. Because I had, I had $15.00. Of my own credit and then Timu offered another five dollars so I got twenty dollars off my order so that's good so 
And they have free shipping over $29, I guess. So yeah, it's a good place. I just I just wish they would have some printed cross stitch. You know, that is it's something I wish they would ha get into. So I wish it would be like this tomorrow. It just makes it that much harder and it's only supposed to be six degrees and yeah. So we'll see when my next order comes in. They already shipped it yesterday, so I guess they're getting better. Now, somebody had told me that they have warehouses in the U.S. And when I went and looked to see if there was one or two in Canada, I didn't see anything. But if anybody knows... If they have warehouses here in Canada, I would very much, you know, like to, um, to know that. It'd be wonderful if they had one in Winnipeg. So, yeah. Not only because it would arrive faster, but because... It would employ, you know, people there. So. But, yeah, so that's, that's about it. Nothing else happening. I'm going to take a shower later. So there won't be a video tomorrow. So please feel free to go back and watch previous videos I mean there's nothing wrong with that I've gone back and watched rewatched videos all the time so yeah This is, this one here is so relaxing. Well, there's a lot of this black, so I can get this black done. So. Yeah. It'll be nice there to work on that lotus blossom. And like I said, you can 
you know, if you just want to work on it during the time of the video or you want to work on it longer or for the whole month of May, be my guest. I may go back and forth here between that one and the lotus flower. So. Yeah. So I have to go outside and bring the laundry in. I was supposed to do that yesterday and no way. I ended up with a massive headache yesterday afternoon. And uh, I don't know why it is I cannot fall back asleep. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Like, when I laid down last night, I was just gone. I was just gone. So I can fall asleep. I just can't stay asleep. And then of course my anxiety kicks in and it's just not it's just not pleasant. hard to believe we're winding down for April. I saw pictures there from places like South Carolina and Alabama and I don't know Missouri and all those places and you guys are all greened up down there and here our trees haven't even begun to bud yet. Not at all. And uh, even down around Toronto, they already are. But here in Manitoba, it's not. I mean, I would assume it's the same for uh, North Dakota, um, Northern Minnesota, um, all those places, right? So, you know, Montana maybe. I saw this morning there were two massive earthquakes in the Pacific. So I wonder what that is all about. They were a 7.0 and a 7.3. I think it was right. It was kind of close to Hawaii, but. So I don't know. And then they were talking about Mount Hood and Mount St. Helens. And I don't know if Cascadia is starting to rumble there. I don't know. Everybody's worried about the San Andreas fault line. I'm more worried about the Cascadia. Because that is much bigger than the San Andreas. And um, it will go right up there to Washington. And, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, much, it's a much 
bigger fault line. So... Yeah, so I guess that's it, everybody. So please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, and comment when you can. But thumbs up is always good. Or even in the comment there, you can just put a heart or something. That's always good because that's... That um, goes as a comment in the algorithms. So, yeah. So, okay, everybody, I guess that's it. So, I will, after my nap there, if I can get one. I'm going to continue on here. And, um, yeah, so uh, please remember tomorrow won't be a video. And I will post again on Thursday, and I'll let you know how my doctor's appointment went and how my, you know, my thing goes there for my driver's license. Yeah. So, all right, everybody. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you and so do I. And so does Miss Lily Bell. And Jonah's up in the cat condo. And uh, Sydney is on the bed. So where I'm going to go right away. So thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for dying on the cross for me so that my sins may be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. All right, everybody, have a great day, and we'll see you on Thursday. Toodle-oodles, everybody.